Hey guys, this is another story of someone wearing their natural hair and getting fired. 11 Alive Rush, Morning Rush reported on the story. This is a woman who was an anchor for one of the news outlets and her boss told her that her hair was not professional. Now she was wearing her hair in a bob for many years and then she switched over to her natural hair because she wanted to give her hair a rest from being fried all the time and the constant chemicals in the hair to straighten it or the hot comb. So she wanted to wear a protective style to just give the hair a rest. And so she decided to just go natural. Let's hear their reporting. Let's take a listen. Time now is 634 fired for her natural hair. That's what one former news anchor says happened to her while working in Jackson, Mississippi. Now, her story has gone viral. Liza Lucas, you're at the bridge and you're following this conversation. What are people saying about this one? Well, Brittany Noble is finally speaking out after criticism over her natural hair. Now she says that she switched from her on air bob at the time, her signature look, to avoid damaging her natural hair. But after she was wearing her new look for about a month, she said that her boss told her to switch it back if that new look was unprofessional. Now, Cor Noble filed corporate complaints and a case with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. And last May, she was unexpectedly terminated, <clears throat> excuse me, while she was caring for her dying grandfather. Now, her former employee, they stand by their decision to fire her, and they say the allegations that her termination was based on her hairstyle have no basis. In fact, they say she was, in fact, terminated for excessive absenteeism. So this turned into quite a talker, and a lot of back and forth online. A lot of people saying her natural hair is beautiful. A lot of people can't believe that this topic keeps coming up. And as Crash mentions at the top of the show, we have seen other topics like this recently. So a lot of professionals weighing in on this continue to use that hashtag morning rush ATL. We're also seeing comments talking about the standards in the industry as a whole and whether this is any different. Guys. And this was a young mother who was pregnant and she wanted to stop flat ironing her hair because it damages it. And obviously you're not supposed to add perm and chemicals while you're pregnant. So she chose to wear a more natural hairstyle, a.k.a. just be her more natural self. Fellows, you weigh in first. Well, you know, they're saying that it was due to her absences, but I think this could have been avoided with a conversation. I mean, I think people tend to shy away from things they don't understand mm -hmm. and just give this quick response. If he would have just kind of sat down with her and stated why he thought she should change it back. And then she states why she hasn't changed it or, or why she keeps it the way she does. Maybe they would have come to an understanding and you, you, you have a better a knowledge of why a natural hair is OK. Um, yeah, just a conversation, I think, would, would kind of end this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to say the obvious. You've changed your hair recently. And I'll tell you what right now, and I'll look straight in the camera. You're going to be hard pressed to find a more beautiful, professional young woman than sitting at this desk right here, Francesca Amaker. I don't understand this story. If it's the absentee thing, I get that. But if it's a hair thing again, it's getting ridiculous. It is getting ridiculous. And I think it's a shame that black women have to constantly uh, take turn themselves different. They have to straighten their hair. They have to look like this European norm that has succeeded in America. Um, myself, as a natural woman, I have gone through several looks on this show, curly hair with my actual natural hair. I've added weave to my hair and had long, natural, curly hair. And now, just yesterday, I changed my hair into locks. Why? Because it's protective styles and I don't feel like frying my hair. I just think it's a, it's a slap in the face that just because I changed my hairstyle, I think it's a slap in the face that people think that my education from Vanderbilt University is, is any lease just because I changed my natural hairstyle that the words come out of my mouth are any more less professional. Yeah. It's a shame and any of those natural leases out there because I know a lot of you, you DM me, a lot of you say, how do you wear your natural hair? Well, thank goodness I have a news place, 11 Alive mm -hmm. and Tegna who support women who wear natural hair and are in their, just their natural state. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't alter yourself, guys. All right, we've shared this article, uh, the Today Show article on Morning Rush Facebook page. Continue. That's the message I want you guys to get out of the morning show today. Just be your natural, authentic self. If they don't like it, all right, either you slap a lawsuit like Brittany did or you uh, bring it to the forefront. I'm just glad she really did that. So, guys, drop your comments and let me know if you are being harassed in your workplace for the same reasons. Because a lot of people honestly don't like natural hair, not on the job. And it was a problem in the military not too long ago. So at that time, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel announced the military, the U.S. military, has rolled back prohibitions on 
popular black hairstyles within its ranks. Hagel says that hairstyle policies were setting sure standards and to make sure the standards were fair and respectful while also meeting the military's requirements. So if it's no problem with the military any longer, why is it still a problem on the job, in a regular job? As long as the hair is well-groomed, clean, and in an acceptable style, meaning it's not all over the place and you not looking like a wild animal. If it's braided in a neat manner, what problem does an employer have with that but apparently it's still a problem for a lot of employers anyway guys drop your comments let me know if you have any problem i'm over now don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching